To our weather forecast, of course, we're gearing up for our storms tomorrow. Tomorrow we knew was going to be the big weather action sort of day, and we are indeed looking at our level of risk actually gone up one level just since yesterday. So we're now at the level three for part of our area late tonight, otherwise level two for severe storms. And then starting around sunrise tomorrow and through the day, our whole area, coastal Mississippi, all of our Louisiana spots will be at a level three of five for severe storms. So we'll be watching closely tomorrow and timing looks like as I was showing you earlier, probably mostly afternoon and into the evening, although a few storms could pop up before then too. And of course, the severe things we'd watch for damaging winds, tornadoes and large hail and something to think keep in mind for tomorrow. Anywhere you see the orange and you see this hatching that indicates the chance for strong tornadoes. So really at any point in this area that is with the hatching, it means that there is a 10% chance of a tornado touching down somewhere within 25 miles of you. So this is a threat that we have to take seriously tomorrow. Again, mostly afternoon and evening by strong tornadoes. That means EF2 or higher. And on the enhanced Vegeta scale, the scale of tornado strength, EF2 corresponds to tornadoes that bring 101 to 135 miles per hour estimated winds. So something to keep in mind for tomorrow for sure. Also, we'll be watching for heavy rain as the system may be slowing down as it moves in. One to three inches are expected for most of us, but we could have a few pockets with some higher amounts that could lead to some street flooding. And here's the scene right now. We've been quiet today. It's been warm. It's been breezy. We've had some sun mixed with clouds. We have a couple of small showers here, light showers over coastal Mississippi, and then a pretty big blank spot until you get to Alexandria. And I was pointing out that uh, just smattering of tornado and severe thunderstorm warnings. Now we have one tornado warning farther south of Shreveport and one severe thunderstorm warning at this point north of El Dorado in Arkansas. But otherwise, the warnings have calmed down, at least for the moment over there. Now, this system is going to continue progressing to the east and again, slowing down a bit. Here is the strong front and we have much colder air out to the north and northwest. And we are going to get the cold air starting Wednesday night and Thursday and then into the weekend. But not just yet. Our high today was 78 and tomorrow once again will be close to 80. Right now, 75, you can see some clouds certainly increasing. North and south of the lake, we're in the 70s. Our hour by hour forecast, just kind of quiet, mild, somewhat humid. We have mostly cloudy skies tonight. And then look how late it might be that we start to see a few storms popping up. It might not be until around sunrise, we'll say certainly after about 2 a.m. for any sort of storms moving in tonight. So this evening is looking fine at this point, aside from just a very slight chance for a shower. North Shore and South Shore lows in the 60s tonight. And then tomorrow I have highs about 78 again. Note it will be breezy to windy. South winds up to 20 miles per hour and we will get those strong storms. So this is our high resolution model. Exact timing could still change a bit, but just to give you an idea, this is through tonight, 930 10. If anything, just a stray shower or storm. 2 a.m. We start to see some of these storms getting a little bit closer, maybe even getting toward Baton Rouge and possibly a bit farther to the east. This takes us to 7 a.m. Certainly will be rain around, but maybe not quite into most of our southeast Louisiana spots just yet. Fast forward through the day. This takes us to lunchtime. It might still be just warm and breezy for most of us, but the storms will be very close. 2 p.m. Fast forward to 4 and then 5 p.m. That might be the worst of the weather somewhere in that late afternoon, early evening time for New Orleans and much of the North Shore. And then by 8 p.m. It's mostly gone and we're drying out by the nighttime. So active weather day tomorrow. Make sure you have your phone charged, have a way to get warnings. Of course, we'll be watching everything really closely. We'll be keeping you updated through the day as we cover that line moving in and moving out with much cooler air, sunny conditions as well on Thursday and a chilly feel into the weekend.